bit. It's Lauren. I got my coffee. My hat is really high on my head, but that's so I can do my makeup. Cause you know, cause I get that forehead. I don't want my hair on my face cause I just showered. So, my hair's still a little wet. That's fine. All right, so like I said in my last video, I the Violet Voss palette. With that order, I got Sephora Pro palette. I wanted it so badly, I needed mattes. I have a lot of glitter and glitter palettes. Look. Uh, I should take the lipstick off. This. Like, these four stood out to me as soon as I got it. So since I just showered, I've already done like a full cleanse. So I'm just gonna start with my Rimmel foundation, one that I've been using. So my damp beauty blender. Colourpop Trusty Private Party Bronzer. It's really nice, really matte color, and I like the effect it gives me because I like a strong contour. I always put that away. I'm literally the worst for that because I use a different brush to contour my face and my nose. So then I'm like, oh, put this away. No. Like, Now I can put that away. Like I said in my last video, I got the Kat Von D Blonde Super Brow, and it's really nice. I'm gonna try to do a super feathered brow today, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out because I've never done that. So, uh,. Yeah, feeling very ambitious today. I feel like it's not too bad. I'm happy with it. Damn. That's not that bad. Any tips, critiques, help, let me know. Definitely need a celebratory coffee break. <laughs> my next press powder before I start. what I'm going to do with these colors. I know I want to do like white liner of some sort. I'm going to start with the dark pink. Put that in the corner. are so bright and so pretty like look at this pink I know I look like a scary ghost but like aside from that okay so 
Now I'm going to take that peachy shade and put that on the top inner corner and blend it into the pink. This is really coming along. Look at me. Look put and trip together. Then I think I'm gonna do one of my favorite things to do with white eyeliner. And I'm just gonna do a semicircle of dots, maybe a half semicircle. We'll see. <laughs> um, of white dots. Because it's just so simple and so pretty. And with bright colors, it really stands out. I feel like white would look really good with these four colors. So yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab my little half moon brush. Coffee. And my shape tape. These colors are so nice. I know I've said that like 85 times, but damn. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the orange shade and the peach shade and just blend the line a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with that turquoise under my eye. So do my bottom lashes in white and do like a white mascara but only on the bottom and then put lashes on top. Alright. Okay, so now that I'm done with the pro palette. I'm gonna do half moon and see if I want to do a full moon. And I'm also gonna do the white on my bottom lashes. Since I don't have a white mascara, I've used the NYX white eyeliner before as mascara and it's done a really good job. I've also used other colors like the Vivid Brights for mascara. And I like how it's looked. See, it's like icy. Now I'm going to do my waterline, my upper waterline. black so that it blends into the dramatic ass lashes that I'm going to put on. I might also add a tiny wing. I'm going to put white. Sorry. Getting distracted and getting off topic. White on the bottom lash line. So I did a black top lash and a white 
bottom wash and I'm gonna add a small black wing. With the Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner? Yeah, tattoo liner. This is it so far without lashes. Now I'm going to add Luminara. I bought them when it was still Black Magic lashes, but now it is Rogue and Rouge version Rogue. I always say it wrong, and I always forget what's right. As usual, I cannot find my lash glue. Well, as I say it, I find it. Of course. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my top lash. And then I use the duo lash glue with the dark with the brush. to dry. It's always the worst. Alright, so that's the one lash and they're hella dramatic but they don't block the little half moon that I've done in the center. Ooh. Give me a little close up. corner very well but it's okay you can always go in like I said and fix everything with liner if you can find it Now that I've fixed out my lash line, eyeliner, I want like a white pop in the center, so I have this like MAC, it's called Crystal Avalanche, I'm not really sure. If I got it. I feel like it's, I might still have it. It's just like a really pretty like diamond white color. away powder that is still on my face And then I 
also want white highlight. And I use the snow as the white shade. So I'm just gonna pull out a bit. I'm gonna use my trusty buxom lip liner. I'm gonna use Echo Park ColourPop. It's a nice pink nude shade. It's one of their satin lip colors, and I love their satin lip colors. They're so nice. The formula is like so smooth. And like Oh, I just love it. Okay. And the finished look. Casual daytime work morning shift. Just kidding. Actually, I probably would wear this to work because it's sweet and I'm really happy with this. Uh, I'm obsessed with this palette. You should buy this palette if you're thinking about buying this palette. Yeah, just super happy with the outcome and I forgot how much I love these lashes. Alright, well, until next time. <laughs>